Hello everyone, so we are going to do a visual circuit in the Cessna 152. It's going to be a very short flight, just show you the fundamentals of the visual circuit. It's not intended to be a tutorial, just a reference for you to use if you've never flown a visual circuit before. Alright, so we go inside the aircraft and we have here, we are in uh, Joinville the biggest city in Santa Catarina state in Brazil where I'm actually now at runway 15 and we're gonna land at this very spot we are here at the numbers you can see number one here <laughs> and the number five is in the other side alright so first things first we've got all set for takeoff with, with the transponder uh, here with the lights it's all set it's all okay okay so I'm just gonna keep this uh, we if you were of course uh, flying you can ever always take this out so you can see the instruments the oil pressure now is pretty low because my power is low in the ground we always keep at least a thousand rpm right so yeah 1000 rpm we are back on green great and what we're gonna do so is gonna take off left hand pattern to run a 15 so let's go, brakes released, full power, and the beat of right rudder, this rudder is not very well trimmed yet with the game. So beat of right rudder to keep it on the center line, we have no wind, it's just the torque and defect and all the stuff that are working in. 50 knots, the aircraft wants to start to get out, we help it, and pitch for 70 knots. The magic number is 67, but 70 is good. We keep our heading 150, looking around. We can look back to see if the runner is still there. Great, that it is. And we will keep this until we get to 500 feet. All right, 70 knots. Don't let it go down. So we know now that 2,400 2, RPM with 10 degrees keeps off pitch up gives us 70 knots 500 feet we take a left turn it's a left hand pattern where it says that he's climbing beautifully it's making more than 500 feet a minute so we do a 90 degree turn to the left so we put 15 maintaining around 30 degrees of bank it's a bit more than this so we put 1590 degrees of course it's a visual pattern so we let we look to the ready all right good now we feel like we are almost a mile away we turn left again and i'm going, going to show you the reference 1000 feet this airport is pre msl so i just Relax my back pressure to put to maintain 1,000 feet elevation. Get a bit of the power back to around 2,100 RPM is good. Maintaining 333 here to to the right. You have to compensate for the wind. There is no wind today, so it's just a matter of doing this correctly. And you can see that the runner is pretty much at half of my stretch. This is the reference for the right distance for downwind. So now again, we are maintaining left downwind, runway 15, 1000 feet, 2000, 2100 uh, RPM. It's giving us about 90 knots. It's good. That's pretty much what it was supposed to give us. All right. So this is the right distance to maintain. Now, as we cross, at V numbers, that's where we're going to touch down. I put the power back to 1500. I'm going to open my carb heat. The zoom went out without me wanting to. And I pitch for 80 knots and flap 10 because we are already in the white arc. So I pitch for 80 and keep it going down at 80 knots with this power setting, okay? I wait until it's 45 from downwind, it's not there yet good, now it is pretty much 45 
I can turn my base like 90 degrees to the left and I pitch for 70 and flaps 20 degrees now I relax again otherwise I'm gonna lose too much speed once I'm here I just check my altitude feels good so just put a bit of power in to keep this rate of descent correctly now when I feel like I start turning base okay reference with the runway it's good to there relax a bit because we're getting low and I'm gonna put a bit of power also we can either land with flaps 20 or flaps full so I'm gonna put flaps full to see how this, this aircraft works with flaps full and I'm gonna keep the 65 knots right so flaps full landing checklist is completed we have all the flaps we need we have all the power keep the speed 60 65 and now I got the landing assured on the right altitude to put the power back and now I just hold I'm ready to keep it to the center line and that's it this is a uh, visual circuit for the runway 15 here at Joinville, Brazil. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm just gonna vacate the runway here. Where is the building? There's no building. This looks like a car track, whatever. <laughs> hope you liked it. We still don't have replays for the flight simulator. I heard there is a plugin that you can use, but for now, I'm just flaps up, carb heat off, and of course I can take my strobe light off and put my transponder back to standby and landing lights off too. That's great. That's it. Thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed because I did. See you next time.